Hi, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Stacker Chats. I'm Gina Abrams, and I'm joined by Muneeb Ali, Stacks founder. Stacks is a Bitcoin L2, and in these chats, we connect on recent happenings in Bitcoin and Bitcoin layers world. So we're deep in the trenches of Bitcoin summer, and this has been a time of heads down work and progress toward the Stacks Nakamoto release. So Muneeb, what are the latest updates there? Can you talk about sort of the challenges that Bitcoin summer is addressing and what you're most excited about? Yes, so I think for people who are not familiar with Bitcoin summer, the idea is effectively that at the start of the year, like roughly March, April or so, we saw uh, the starting of ordinals on Bitcoin L1. And that triggered the revival of Bitcoin building. I think so many people who were probably like haven't paid attention to Bitcoin in years and they were building in Ethereum or Solana or some of their ecosystem, they sort of like, you know, perked up, started paying more attention to what's happening on Bitcoin. Uh, and I think that was that was kind of like really like a start uh, where people started building different types of tools, indexers, uh, explorers, wallets, and uh, even protocols, right? Like with Bitcoin L1. So I view ordinals as a way to effectively define new types of assets and even protocols on the L1. And I think that has always been uh, in a way the, the missing piece. I've personally done some work trying to have these protocols back in the day. Uh, but I'm glad that ordinals sort of like took off. And I think I think I, I feel pretty confident saying that ordinals as a standard is sort of like here to stay, but it serves a bigger purpose uh, than just on-chain NFTs. And I think that's a point like worth noting. And, and then I think once you have, so um, ordinals is not just ordinals. I think ordinals to me means L1 activity, like more devs on the L1, more use cases on the L1. So when that is happening, I think it, it naturally uh, has sort of like has a spillover effect on the L2s as well. Like all the different L2s, they have a spillover effect and Stacks being one of the largest uh, in, the, in, in, in the broader ecosystem, I think it saw a bunch of interest both ways, like a bunch of builders who were building in Stacks already. They started contributing to the L1 work, work streams and different tools being built and different sort of like new apps showing up. And the other way around, the people who are kind of like discovering ordinals in L1, then they discovered the L2s and they discovered Lightning, Stacks, RSK, and other things. And I think that that has been very interesting. So for the Bitcoin summer, it's the idea that this is a summer to build on Bitcoin because 2023 is the year for Bitcoin builders revival. And that timing went really well with this major, major upgrade uh, that's been in the works for a while uh, for, for stacks. So people might've seen kind of like new research papers coming out around December uh, from, from the working groups. And I think since then the Nakamoto design uh, has evolved a bit. In, in my view, it has simplified uh, and uh, the simplifications are actually resulting in potentially much better security guarantees. For example, in the latest iterations, you can get uh, Bitcoin finality within six blocks. Right? I think that's, 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 in some ways you can't do better than that on Bitcoin. Because six blocks is what you need, even on Bitcoin, you have a mathematical probability that things are not going to change. So if you can hit uh, Bitcoin finality for any reorders on stacks within that same time frame, that's like pretty much as, as good as it gets in terms of uh, reorg resistance. And similarly, I think there have been a bunch of different work streams around performance improvements. One thing that at the start of the year, uh, not a lot of devs were looking into, but now is a very exciting area, is actually just improvements to the Clarity VM itself. More specifically, there are some work streams, actually there's already a GitHub repo that people can go and check out uh, on, on, on github.com slash slash stacks network. And that's about having a WebAssembly or WASM uh, compiler. So this approach actually retains most of the benefits of Clarity because Clarity contracts will still be published as source code they're still decidable. So whenever people hear decidable, if you don't know the meaning, just think like safe, like they, they have better safety guarantees. Although decidability has other benefits as well, but think of that, that as like, it's a, it's a really great safety property. And uh, you retain those properties, but for performance, before the code is executed, uh, you can actually compile it down to Wasm and run the compiled version. And that actually could result in, in, in a much bigger performance boost than, than you could have imagined. And I think that's great. And, and there are many other areas through uh, which performance boosts are coming. 
for example, in the latest iteration. So this is this is so cutting edge that it's like not reflected in the white papers yet. And the white papers are roughly six months old, and I think they're already due for a revision and an update. But you can find find these proposals on the forum or on, on GitHub, uh, where the latest iteration of the Nakamura consensus is that you'll have these really fast blocks. But even with a single confirmation uh, from from the Stacks L2 side, uh, you're getting a pretty high security budget, right? Uh, like in the order of like hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars. And then as soon as something hits uh, Bitcoin finality, then it's 100% Bitcoin finality uh, for, for the reorgs. And that can happen within six blocks now versus in the paper, you would notice a number of like a hundred blocks and so on. So in general, I think things are in the design, things are becoming smoother, simpler, faster, sort of like, you know, uh, uh, more elegant. And that's great. On the on, on, on the other side of that is, I think, how the project sort of like organizes or self-organizes as an open source project. And uh, with the Bitcoin summer and the revival of interest of builders, we've definitely seen an increase in, in builders who are sort of like building with the core uh, software in, 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 the, in the Stacks ecosystem. For example, I personally, until a few weeks ago, thought that there are maybe roughly 20, 20 or so developers who are contributing to Stacks core uh, which is the main sort of like uh, library that uh, or, or uh, repository that people use. And it turns out on calls, there are more than 40 people and there are more than 40 active contributors. These are, by the way, not folks who are building applications. That number is much bigger as uh, reported by Electric Capital and so on. This is sort of like the equivalent of how many people are contributing to Bitcoin Core, right? Or how many people are contributing to a Ethereum uh, implementation. Uh, so I think that's that's actually a pretty pretty high number. I was, I, this was a good surprise to me uh, that to see so many active people and people are also like self organizing a lot better. Uh, so in the under this sort of like a hackathon slash sprint uh, uh, structure of Bitcoin Summer, uh, one by by product has definitely been that the project seems a lot more organized. People are cleaning up old repositories, old old code bases. They're reorganizing Discord, and it just seems like you know there's a ton of more activity and just energy and momentum, and that's that's just like amazing to see, uh, especially in a, in an open source project. 